In today's video, I want to take a look at a misunderstanding that some people might have regarding the exec functions. So here we have a version of the code that we've seen uh, in a previous lesson uh, where we simply execute the ping program on a uh, child process, right? So here we fork and in the child process, we execute the fork program with exec LP. And in the parent process, well, all we do is take the status code and then print out whether success or failure. If we run this, of course, it does work. As you can see here, I get the ping result and I do get that success message that says that, okay, everything went fine. Now, suppose that all I want from this ping program to print out is not all the pings themselves, not the statistics here. All I want is the round trip time. This is what RTT stands for. And all I want is this line here. Uh, well, suppose I know of grep, right? Grep in Linux lets you sort of filter out the the output of a program. So for example, what I can do here inside the terminal, let me clear it out a bit, is, well, we're executing ping. So it's like executing ping dash C one at google.com. Okay, so that's fine. That's the same program that we're executing in the C program. But what I want is to filter it out. So I'm gonna say, okay, pipe and then grep, let's say round trip time. Okay, and then what that's gonna do, if I hit enter, you'll notice I get the line with just the round trip time with the averages and everything here, which is kind of nice. Um, you'd think that you could do this with exec. So, uh, right, instead of executing just this command, you, we could just execute this whole thing. So we could come here in the exec LP and just add more parameters. So we can go, okay, well, uh, a pipe and then let me actually add an enter here because there's gonna be a lot of them. Then grep and then let's say here, let's actually add even the even the quotes, why not? And RTT, although they might not be necessary in this case. Um, you'd think that you could do this, right? You flip a pipe and then uh, a grab call with RTT. If I try to launch this, you'll actually notice that it says RTT name or service not known and it failed. Why did it actually failed? Because we basically executed the same command uh, that we did here in the terminal. What happened? Now here's the misunderstanding that you guys might have. That is that exec executes bash script or command uh, command line scripts if you're in Windows. In fact, that is not true. Exec, what it does, it actually executes an executable. Just a simple executable, not a command line or, of sorts, not something that can be parsed or you can actually add to it, but an executable. So when you're seeing here ping, it actually goes ahead and says, well, where is ping? It finds the ping program, this slash bin slash ping, and quite literally just execute it without going through the bash uh, interpreter. Okay, so what happens here is C directly talks with that executable. Okay, and in our case with the bash script, the bash script executes that executable. Okay, in uh, when we say ping and then we use the pipe operator, but this is this pipe operator is specific to bash. Okay. Here, we're, here in the terminal, we're executing bash scripts, but this is not what we're executing in the terminal. This is literally what program we're executing and what arguments we're giving it. That means that these arguments that we have actually added to it, they didn't, want, they didn't go to the terminal and that they get executed so that they can be used to filter out the output. No, no, no. They straight up go from the C program directly to the ping program, okay? So the ping program goes ahead and says, what, what did you give me here, this RTT? I have no idea what it means. So of course it executes the program and it takes in these parameters inside ping and ping says, you gave me RTT, what does that even mean? So it just goes name or service not known for this RTT thing that we gave it. Right. With bash, it didn't happen like that because bash knows that, well, this, uh, this pipe here means that we should execute two programs, right? So we should execute ping and then grab. But in this case, no, no, no. We simply pass through all those arguments to that executable without going through the terminal. So we're not actually executing commands. In fact, we're more like executing uh, just simple programs, just 
executables and we just give them the parameters. If you wanted, you can actually simulate this behavior with the pipe, but it's a bit uh, more elaborate than just giving up, giving out more parameters here. Okay, so this is the main takeaway of this video. You're executing executable files, not terminal uh, bash script or command prompt script. I think they're called batch uh, scripts. You're simply executing actual programs actual .exe files in Windows or just executables on Linux and uh, you pass in these parameters and these all of these are going to be going to the pings program main function so ping also has a main function and these are going to be found in here in arc v whatever we pass in here goes in arc v and of course the count of that uh, is also passed properly so I hope this clarified some issues you might have had when you used uh, exec, an exec function and you didn't realize what, what was going on, why you couldn't execute some scripts and you could execute others. Uh, now I hope that this is cleared up. So there's a pretty big difference uh, between executing programs and executing bash or batch scripts. I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.